Hey fellow Unity enthusiasts, in today's tutorials we continue editor scripting and implementing the property draw that you've seen in the previous video. I said the many essentials for editor scripting in Unity in previous video. If you didn't see it, go and watch out and then come back. Continue this video. Let's dive into it. So this was the property draw that I showed you in our previous video tutorial uh, we implement these tabs if you didn't watch that go watch it because uh, unity editor scripting has a few essentials that you need for this video so go watch out and have these cool tabs for your big messy objects and then come back for this cute <laughs> property draw or drop down or pop up many this fellow has many names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this the drop down for our scriptal objects through our projects. For example, this is my scriptal objects for our units. It's a unit. And then for example, I have a lot of things and we get this through our game and set it here. This is for example all of them is zero and when I start the game it will put all the data from the script object to this one. Okay, so for implementing that drop down, uh, so I have a drop down for our unit unit stats and then for example wood, uh, for example resource type, building types, other things and I don't have the property draw for our actions. Basically it's the actions that we use for example for buildings training units, multiple units, and for example units, this infantry and archer, it's barracks and units, but buildings, we can build barracks through our game. But I don't have drop down for that. I, as you can see, this action property has something bad, weird stuff, select basic action. I don't want it. I want good drop downs, something like that, something like that. This is <laughs> state but this is a script object and this is for example barracks town center or something like that so for start implementing that drop down so first of all we need a script so go to your script folders and then our editor and create basic action drawer or draw for your action something like that so open that so first of all we have this line custom property draw type of basic action so we have to use that basic action this is a simple uh, script project and we have one particular method that we're using through this video it's called get name so we're returning our name it's, its name is basically our wait okay it's basically our name that we define through our basic action or script object not here it's same in this case, but using this returning this one, this name for our uh, showing our the label in this case label of this reference object. So for that we're using that for for the beginning we have to override our on GUI method. Yeah. So we have to cut the base. For example, for now we have something like that. We have something like this. This is a messy one. <laughs> what is this? It's collapsing together. Our implement no implemented or something like that. <laughs> okay, we have to get rid of this base. So uh, this GUI on GUI method uh, has a rectangle position on size of the uh, our things that we ready to go. <laughs> so we removed it and disappeared completely. Okay, this is like the drawing this property here, so we have to need the rectangle for that, and serialized property that represent our basic action, and then our content uh, we as the label of it. Okay, uh, for this, first of all, we set the label and to our editor we dot begin property our we pass it our position, label, and property itself. And 
for storing our data in our dropdown, we need one string value for the label of it and the object itself, in this case, for example, units. We have to, for example, in our, let me just uncomment this, let's comment this for, for a second, for example, for this, we have to drag and drop this and set it here. So we need to have the reference of the object. For that, we, we need to use dictionaries. So it's like a private dictionary. We have a string and then the basic action itself. So we call it action types. Actions, action types. And equal to our oh, RTS, it's not a script that I developed before, editor and helper. So we need, so we have a method for get resource types, building types, unit types. So in this case, we have to get our actions, action types. So we don't have that, so we have to implement it. So, First of all, I have to clarify. So we have two methods here, and first one is try get all assets files. So we have to get all these assets files through our project and set it to our uh, innumerable uh, list. So for now, we get it uh, out list, call it assets and filter default assets, no label, no types. So Filters is basically if we go to our assets folder and then type T and then basic action, it will pop up our basic action uh, script objects. It's basically has to be specific and exact same name of the that type that we can choose labels here. We can choose uh, prefabs. It's a type of prefab. So for now we have to use it like. Basic actions, basic action. Yeah, if you remove n, it will gone, and with n and specific the name will be get it. Okay, this is a filter for that, and we're script object, so we have to get our script objects, not for example the mm, I don't know script itself, but we don't need that. So we need, we have a s asset for that, and then we add one item to it, null, for example. In our unit stats, we have something like unassigned, yeah, because we have to implement our null value. So uh, we assign, we add one item null and then search for it. Asset database that find asset with that filter and then find asset. If we get any uh, result with this, if we get anything, so we loop through it and get the path of. That assets and then add the assets with uh, class asset database load assets at path. We get the path here and then we add the, that specific scriptable object reference object itself to our list and then we uh, return true because this is boolean. So we can clarify did we get anything? So it's try get all assets right. Uh, and then we have other method named cache assets file so we put the list of that scriptable objects and then put it in the target enumerable list or enumerable type of the scriptable object and then return that to use that first of all we need to have something private static or enumerable list in this case basic action and we call it like action types equal null for the beginning and then in our method so first of all we need these variables but we, we don't need this in this tutorial i writing it because it, anything was happening because it's for testing okay but first of all we need to check if we get anything or we did assign anything to our action types so if we get null um, or our require or our require test was true. I don't want to put true for this time, but so 
After that, action types. That if it contains contains our test building, it's this. This is the action type. So if this was true, what is the problem? Yeah, it's just a basic action. So so we go cache assets files out our action types and then our filter will be as i told you it will be basic action yeah basic action and then we go to go and then we return that's enumerable so we return our action types but to our dictionary we have to get it in the dictionary so our type uh, if our type was equal to no that we set it here that we set it here we, we set it one item null if it was null so put the name on a sign if it wasn't so get the name of it so type dot that get name method and then you go to go back here and then Mm, when we get that dictionary from that specific class, so first of all, uh, we need a variable for the index, index of uh, all the items. So index equals zero for the first time, for the beginning, and then so our index has to be zero or more than zero. If, so we check if our index was below zero. That would be a bad thing. So just put it zero. First thing that we check is uh, make sure that index value is always valid. After that, our index will be equal to our editor read pop up. We draw our pop up here. So our position label the text our label, and then our index, and then our action types dot keys dot to array. Okay, so we get all the names here. Did I, yeah, then comment this and then go check out our yeah, property draw. This is it, but it doesn't work at all because as soon as we run the game, it will, yeah, it will set to unassign again. We have to set it here. So for that, for that reason, we have to set it in the real for our Unity. Okay, so first of all, we checking our property dot property type equal serials property dot object reference if it was an object reference so our index will be our action what our yeah it was action yeah we need you Bob so our action type uh, dot values dot to list this time and then dot index of property dot that object reference value we set it as basic action oh so here else if we get it uh, the string uh, instead of that uh, object reference we do the process reverse so we get the string we set the reference object if we get the object reference we set the string so if you get property dot property type was equal to yeah, serialized this time string so index will be action types dot keys dot to list sorry dot to list and index of it because we just need the index we set the index okay dot index of property dot a string value so yeah we need that a true string but to list so yeah else if he wasn't successful just editor we dot label field will be set the position label the text and then we show this that that was unsuccessful basic action so 
and return. Kill the process because we get this wrong. And yep, after that, we check if the index. And then we have to write a set uh, the condition for set the value in the yeah, save it in the inspector in self. So I can't select it because uh, we wrote this and we we don't tell the unity to set it in the inspector. So if our property dot property type again, so we can just copy this. So this condition is exact same, and we put it after this. So after we set that, so after that we have to set property dot our object reference. If we get that object reference, so we have to just set it. So action type our dictionary, and then our yeah our action type dot keys. And then dot to ri and then our index. So if we use that, if we select that as an index, so just mm, set the set the property to that index. So property, if you get the a string of it, so property dot a string value will be action types dot keys. So here would be key, yeah? keys dot Alright, for this we have to do it to list, but here we set the property itself, so we have to set the array of it. So let's go check it. Yeah, we can get good to go. Yeah, all things should work now. Mm, let's check it. We can select. Yeah, we have. We can see the actions here. So if, I, if, I, <laughs> yeah, if I change it, will be. Uh, the village action that will be one barracks, yeah, build barracks. <laughs> yeah, I didn't implement it one building barracks. We'll get two barracks action that will be archer and infantry, infantry and archer training for barracks. So yeah, if you like this content, make sure to subscribe this channel and like this video. And if you like these contents like script objects, if you like to be an software engineering and tech developer in the game industry for example you like to build the experience of the designers easier for example you have a lot of characters in your game you can handle it with the windows and have all the characters here and set it easily we can do that together if you like this contents like scriptable object things let me know in the comment section below to make this kind of video if you have an idea other ideas or future videos let me know in the comment section below. that's it for this video if you had any question let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel ring that notification bell so you don't miss the next one see you in the next video bye